Hi everyone, let's go ahead and see how you can install WAMP server on EC2 instance. We will be using here EC2 Windows instance to install WAMP server there. Thereafter, I'll be also showing you how you can host a website at WAMP server at EC2 Windows machine. So you need to come to your AWS console and then you need to start your Windows machine from here. You can watch my previous video to know how to launch Windows machine at EC2 instance. Link of this video is given in the video description. You need to click on here and then we are going to launch this instance here. Instance state to start instance. It is going to take a while to start this. Once it, once it is started, then this button will be enabled here. So instance has started here. Now you need to click on connect. On connect, you need to click on RDP client. Here you need to download remote desktop file. Now you will see here this remote desktop file is downloaded. You need to also get a password. So you need to find out your previously created PEM file, which is YouTube Windows file. So which is here, I need to just go there and then click on decrypt password. So the password is decrypted here. I need to just copy this password from there. And then I need to click on this windows.rdp file, which I just downloaded. So it's going to connect. It will ask about the password. Then I provide a password and then click on OK. So it's going to connect with my Windows machine at EC2 instance. Once I connect with Windows machine at EC2 instance, like we are seeing here at our local server or local machine, we have to visit at WAMP server download folder. And from there, we will download WAMP server at EC2 instance. All right, so it has started here. Now I'm going to start here uh, a browser. So the Windows, a Microsoft Edge browser. In this browser, we have to search here WAMP server. So I type here WAMP server download. So it's going to uh, open here. So you need to just click on WAMP download. So we need to download here WAMP server 64 bit for Windows machine. So I need to download WAMP server 64 bit. I just download this from here. It will ask a lot of these information. You do not need to give all these information. In fact, you can directly download. So you just click on you can download it. So it's going to download. It will take a while to start this download. WAMP server has started to download. It has almost finished. Once this download is finished, then we are going to install WAMP server. Otherwise, you can open directory where it is getting downloaded. So it is downloaded here in download folder. I double click on this WAMP server. After double click, it will take a while. So it is just going to take a while to start the server. You need to select the language in which you want to install. I want to install in English language. I'm going to select the agreement. All the settings I'm just going to keep as default setting. It's going to download it and install it in C drive under WAMP64 folder. So it will also download all these, uh, you know, the default installation and it will also uh, install MariaDB, MySQL connectors, MySQL database in fact. Then click on next. Thereafter the name of the service is WAMP Server 64 and then I click on install. So it's going to install. Installation generally takes 5 to 10 minutes. We have to wait for that time. So server has started here. I just need to click on yes. Okay, in fact, I didn't need it to click on S. I can just cancel that. Okay, so this server has successfully installed. It's finally installing MySQL there. Once this is installed, then it will pop you a window that to start your WAMP server. So it has installed. I need to click on next and then I click on finish. Once you finish this, it will take a while to start this. So installation is done here. Let's go ahead and start this. You need to come to local C drive and there WAMP64. So inside this WAMP64, we need to install our, we, we need to start our WAMP server. So you can start with WAMP manager. 
So it's going to just install your WAMP server. So it will take a while to start this. Okay, it is starting the services. We have to wait for some time. So you will see there it will start here. Now it has turned into green. That's when all the services are ready and all the services are running. If you click on, so you will be seeing here all other options like you can visit to my uh, PHP admin. Thereafter, uh, you would be able to see here other services as well. All right, you can see the MySQL, MariaDB, all these things are running here. You can also visit at the local host. You can simply uh, type here local host. So the local host will tell you that the default uh, uh, the website comes with WAMP. So a default website comes with the WAMP is this where it tells about the WAMP server. Now our final task is to host a website at WAMP server. To do that, we have to first download a sample website. For that, you need to visit at github.com forward slash Lakshmi Merit. Thereafter, you need to go into repositories and from here, you need to download a website, a sample website. So I have given here a sample website. You can get by searching Lakshmi Merit. And there you will get Lakshmi Merit GitHub.io. So this one I'm going to install from here. I click on download zip. So it's going to download this here. I'm going to open a directory where it is downloaded. I just need to extract this file. So I click on extract all. Once this zip file is extracted, now you will see here this. Uh, uh, th this website, default website, have index.html. So by default, this index.html will be the entry point. So I'm just gonna, you know, the open this whole thing from here and then I'm going to copy it from here. Now, as you know that your WAMP server is installed inside local C directory WAMP64 and here you need to click on, you, you need to come inside www then you will see there the index.php so this is the default this one is the default file which is being served there so i'm going to you know the, rename this file as index underscore bkp otherwise you can delete in fact this you don't need to keep this and then i'm going to paste the file which i had copied earlier from the lakshmi merit github.io folder so now i have pasted that now you will see that there is only one index file which is index.html so now this will be a serving point now what you need to do you need to just refresh your local host you should be able to see that now that html file is getting served here now you have successfully installed your website at wamp server using windows machine at ec2 now the question is whether you will be able to access this server from the outside world or not. Let's go ahead and check that. So to access from outside world, you have to give the public IP of your server. So what's the public IP of your server here? You will come here. Thereafter, you need to get the public IP of your server. So you come here and thereafter, you need to get the public IP from here. So you just copy this public IP from here control and C and then I'm going to paste that here. So seems like it is not connecting. The problem is here with Windows inbound connection. It is trying to connect with the Windows machine here, but it's not able to connect. So for that purpose, you need to open the firewall, Windows firewall. You open Windows firewall, you know, the Windows Defender firewall. Then we have to change the setting here. So for that, you need to click on advanced setting. And then inside this advanced setting, you have to come here, Windows Defender Firewall Properties. In Domain Profile, inbound connection should be allowed here. So I click on Allow. Thereafter, in Private Profile, you need to click on Allow. Thereafter, finally, in the Public Profile, you need to click on Allow. So once you allow all the connections, then you can again come back here. And then if you refresh it, now that inbound connection is allowed there. 
all right so seems like that resource is currently not available we need to go back again here and then we need to check if we have successfully installed this okay so we have installed this in fact we can check that with this ip as well since we are accessing this to solve this forbidden access problem we have to visit our WAMP server setting page here so you come here click on WAMP thereafter you need to click on Apache then you need to come to httpd virtual host config file and here where it says that require local you need to provide here all granted then you save this file thereafter you need to uh, you can close this file after saving then you need to come here and then click on your WAMP server, restart all services. It's going to restart all the services at WAMP server. Thereafter, you need to again provide, you know, uh, you need to again provide the link or the IP address, the public IP address from where you want to access. Now you can refresh this. I refresh it. Now I'm able to access. Uh, now I'm able to access my website here. As you see here, so I can access it at the local host at the uh, EC2 instance itself. Otherwise, you can pass this IP and you can provide the access to your website. Now my portfolio is live at this website, although after some time I'll delete that. But moreover, now you know that how you can host your own website at AWS Windows machine. You also know how you can install WAMP server. I have also made a video how you can install a JAMP server. Please go to my channel at KGP Talky. You watch other videos. If you have liked this video, please subscribe the channel and share this video with your friends and social media. Thanks a lot.